Some key de-escalation strategies um, began really in 2015 with Dr. Tulane's trial, which was the APT trial. Um, this protocol took women who had small HER2 positive breast cancers, so generally two centimeters or under, that were essentially node negative, and uh, evaluated whether we could use a chemotherapy backbone that just consisted of taxane and combine that with trastuzumab. And um, there was an explicit decision in that trial not to include a control arm. Um, reason being they felt it would be hard to randomize to a control arm where we really didn't have a standard of care for these small HER2 positive cancers. Um, we're now seven years later and the follow-up is really outstanding. These patients overall 95% overall survival and it's hard to imagine that there would be a comparator arm that would beat that. Um, so when we have a patient who is HER2 positive that has a smaller tumor and that's node negative, um, this would be perfectly adequate therapy um, to ensure that they're at low risk of relapse. Um, and then there have been um, a couple of studies, including meta-analyses, looking at the idea of um, using less Herceptin. Um, so we've standardized Herceptin um, to be a duration of 12 months. Um, question arose, well, can we get away with less? Um, and so there's been two trials, Persephone and FAIR, that have looked at this six-month versus 12-month question. Persephone ended up meeting its non-inferiority boundary. FAIR did not. Um, there's um, the major concern over de-escalating this part of therapy is that the chemotherapy backbone that was used in these trials is no longer really the chemotherapy backbone that we're using in a lot of patients. So is it safe to de-escalate both the chemo and the duration of the trastuzumab? And that's just an answer that we don't have yet. So I think for a patient who has some cardiac risk factors, um, that you are looking to minimize toxicity in, you may consider doing a six-month regimen, but I think you have to think carefully about what chemo backbone that patient had.